वेलकम बैक लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द परसिस्टेंट वॉल्यूम एंड द परसिस्टेंट वॉल्यूम क्लेम एंड देन वी विल डू द डेमो परसिस्टेंट वॉल्यूम इफ वी गो विद द ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इट सेज परसिस्टेंट वॉल्यूम इज अ पीस ऑफ स्टोरेज इन द कोबनेटीज क्लस्टर एंड परसिस्टेंट वॉल्यूम क्लेम इज अ रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ स्टोरेज बाय द यूजर आई एम श्योर इट्स बेट ट्रिकी टू अंडरस्टैंड लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस थिंग विद अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल नाउ इमेजिन यू आर इन अ लाइब्रेरी इन द लाइब्रेरी बुक शेल इट्स ऑलरेडी देयर which is filled with all the book and they are ready to use now if you want to read any book you have to request the librarian that you need a book after that you also need to tell the librarian you need what type of book you also need to tell the duration for how long you need that book and after that based on your request librarian is going to issue you the book which you can read the same way in the kubernetes persistent volume is a bookshelf Okay, so that means it's a actual storage space in the cluster, and persistent volume claim is you requester who is going to request something. Like in the library, you request for a book. In the Kubernetes, persistent volume claim is you are requesting for a storage from the persistent volume. Let's do the demo to understand this thing. Now here we have the persistent volume. Let me explain this thing. Here we have the kind persistent volume. then we have the metadata this is the name of the persistent volume and here we are using the capacity of 1 gb access mode is read write once and the persistent volume reclaim policy is set to retain we have other policies as well for that you can read the document which is attached here and then we have the host path after that we have the persistent volume claim and this is with the name persistent volume claim this is the name of the persistent volume claim and access mode is read write once and here we are requesting for the 1 gb of the storage and after that we are creating a pod in this pod we have the name pvc example this is the container information and this is the volume information inside the container information we have the busy box with the name my container this is the command which we are running and in the vo volume mount we have the pvc storage which is coming from this volume so this name could be anything but this volume name is the pvc storage and the claim name is pvc example if we scroll up see pvc example is the claim name so this is something important this one is important so don't get confused with the name so this name this name you can give anything as per your requirement but this claim name need to be match with the name of the persistent volume claim and let me create a file with the name pv example dot yaml first here is my terminal let me copy the content of this after that let me create this file let me copy the content and in the last we need to create a pod no no for example let me copy this one paste it done now we have three file let me do kubectl apply minus f pv example pvc example 1 and then we have the pod example done Now let me do kubectl get pod. Yes, we have one of the pod which is in the creating state at the moment. Let me do kubectl get pv. Yes, we have one pv and the persistent volume. So if you can see, we have this thing available. This is the pvc. Let's do yes. We have this thing in the running. Let me go inside this pod kubectl exec minus it. Okay, I'm inside this one. And let me go to the location MNT data. Let me do LS. So here we have couple of files, and this is coming for the persistent volume claim. Let me exit from this one. Cube CTL get pod. So we have one of the pod which is in the running state. So let me do one thing. Let me delete this pod, 
and then we are going to create a new pod and there we are going to attach the same persistent volume claim and we are going to verify whether we have these files exist over there or not and let me do one more thing before deleting it let me go back cd mnt uh, mnt data ls let me create couple of more files here so touch file 2 file 3 file 4 and let me remove rm ls so now we have these files here let me exit from here kubectl get pod and let me delete this one kubectl delete pod and then we need to provide the pod name or else we can go with that thing as well where we can provide the name of the file as well delete it delete it now let me do one thing sample 2 I'm going to rename this file to something else pod let me give another example dot yaml okay now let me go another example dot yaml file here I'm going to do the changes the name is pvc let me do the change here another my container is going to be like bc box this is again the busy box this is the mount data um, and this is the persistent volume claim okay fine now let me do kubectl apply minus f another and this is created let me go inside this kubectl git pod it is in the process of creating now it is in the running state kubectl exec minus it then we need to provide the name of the pod minus minus pin sh cd mnt data window ls so we are able to see all the files so these files are coming from the persistent volume claim this is how the persistent volume and the persistent volume claim work